Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another review. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new right back Lamer card. So um, EA is doing a lot of defensive changes with this promo, but we're taking a look at a card that is 5'11", medium high work rates, three star skills with a three star weak foot. Now, this card actually looks like he has a lot of potential to be a pretty good center back card because of all of his base card stats being really good in different areas. Now, you guys are going to notice that I gave him the finisher chemistry style because this could be a versatile. One of the comments guys actually told me it's versatile, which is he's actually correct. Um, he's a versatile player that can play in a lot of positions depending on the chemistry style that you want to give him. Now, for me personally, I do mostly see this card being used in the center back or right back area, but he does look like the type of player depending on the chemistry style that you give him that can play in the center mid and right mid position as well and we'll be taking a look at all those in game uh in regards to player traits he has dives into tackle straight. He's got 89 acceleration with 92 sprint speed, which is pretty decent. You can improve that um, if given the opportunity to. Shooting on the cards at 75 attacking positioning with 73, uh, 73 finishing at 76 shot power. So you can see why I give him the finisher chemistry style boost. So if I were to you know, want to use this card in the center mid position or CDM position or right mid position, the finisher chemistry style will allow me to use him in multiple positions right if i were to give him an anchor chemistry style which would probably be the most default chemistry style to give him um you know you would be getting the pace boost you'd be getting the defensive boost as well as the physical boost the reason why i'm giving him a finisher is because i want to see if he's even worth using in the attacking areas at all because if his dribbling still sucks and he feels mostly like a, a defender then i'm going to use him in the defensive area mostly anyway so you know uh passing on the cards really good for a right back very nice to have obviously uh base card stats for for dribbling is not bad it's not crazy good, but it's okay. 79 agility with 77 balance. Um, that by itself, if we were to give him the anchor chemistry style, we would also have to test out in game. But you'll be able to tell his dribbling capabilities with the dribbling boost in the card and whether or not it would drastically change if we take off the finisher chemistry style uh defensive stats for base card stats are pretty good because again if you were to give him an anchor chemistry style you're looking at some pretty good defensive stats as well as a physical boost at 90 jumping 90 strength and 97 aggression but for base card stats they're pretty good as well right so the card definitely looks interesting hopefully he's not going to be too expensive because he actually looks pretty decent considering um most of the positions you can use this card in so the way that we are going to be lined up with this card in game is going to look like this. We'll try them out in different ways. By the way, the reason why I use the 352 to test out defenders is to test out their attacking and defensive capabilities. You can do this for uh, the 412 and 2 narrow as well as the 352. I just like to use the 352 for this personally, right? But uh, we're going to switch Lamer off to the right mid position. I just want to see if he does the basic stuff really nicely. Uh, and then we'll over here, we'll switch Konate, Mukiele, and have Konate playing through the middle with Lamer off to the right side. The instruction is going to be uh, come back in defense and get in behind for both the left mid and the right mid. Um, reason being for this is because, again, we want to see what he's like pushing forward and coming back. Is he an aggressive oriented player? He does have the high medium work rate. So this is something that we do have to take into consideration when looking at a card like this. An important thing with this card as well is the fact that he actually has the lean body type. Lean body type is definitely going to be helpful for the dribbling just in case the agility and balance doesn't really feel like it's enough, right? So very, very important that he has that type of body type. But uh, yeah, we'll get into a game. We'll switch him to the 3-5-2. We'll also be using the 4-3-3 on fast buildup where he will be playing in the right center mid position. And then the other player, we could probably switch with like Sabitzer or something, you know, it doesn't have to be like too crazy. We'll even switch Douglas Cost over here in the middle and put Lamer in that center mid position on the fast buildup instruction on balance instructions to see if I actually like his dribbling enough to use him in the attacking space. Because like I said, guys, with a finisher chemistry style, this card does have the potential to be a versatile player in your team. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. There we go. No pace boost in the card. Switch. Switch again. Rotate again. It's not bad. With the anchor chemistry style, the acceleration is definitely going to be very important for that, for sure. Well done, Lamer. Really well positioned in that uh, defensive area to get that ball. Beautiful pass right there. We can actually potentially score this now. 
ball roll touch, work that space there. One more shot, and we don't score that opportunity. Wow. Doesn't that suck? That would have been actually a really good play. Definitely should have shot it to the side there, but we'll work with it. Little fake shot. There we go. A little bit of dribbling just to test it out. Yeah, so his dribbling, guys, if you want to use him in the fullback position, perfectly fine. The lean body type, very, very helpful for that. Because look, you can even see right here. Yeah, that lean body type is going to be crazy good for him. It's If he had like an average body type, it would have affected the card a little bit too much, in my opinion. So it's very good that um, he does get that boost. But so far, defensively and attacking-wise, he's actually playing that position well. I do see this card mostly being used in that right-back position for sure, but... We'll see what's up, man. You do have to remember that we are using the finisher chemistry cell on him right now to be able to get that dribbling boost, so... You can even see in that situation right there, he is actually well-positioned there. Getting behind instruction. That should be a first-time cross. It didn't... It, it didn't register my attacker there. Okay. Doesn't register the first time cross. Could even score that opportunity. Nice. I like it. I do like it a lot. Look at Lamer's positioning right now. Marks that guy the entire time. So he has he has the perfect right back capabilities for sure, guys. I don't think that's necessarily going to be a problem with the card. It's just giving him that acceleration and sprint speed boost is definitely going to be very important. We're actually going to force a run out of him here to utilize that side position as much as possible. Wait for that little bit of a line. There we go. Let's try an angle from here. Let's try a shot from there. Finisher chemistry saw, not too bad. Base card stats for finishing, not high enough to really hit that directly to the side. We're going to fake that. Ball roll touch. Nope. There we go. Work that space well. And Coleman can't hit a finesse shot. It do be like that sometimes. Um, okay, guys. So right mid position. You could definitely use him there if you really want to. Um, like I said, this card does mostly feel like a defender, so it's going to be a center back, right center back, right back type of thing for this card. I do want to try him out in the 4-3-3 before we actually do that, though. Um, we're going to be trying him out in the right center mid position. First time cross from that angle? <laughs> not bad, actually. I'm not sure why it's not registering to the guy that's the, the closest one there. It's a little strange. I mean, you can tell the game plays off when my player's trying to shoot the ball there when he doesn't even have possession of the ball. <laughs> um, yeah, center mid position, guys, the most obvious thing that he's doing so far is doing that thing where it's like, okay, so I have my wingers on cut inside and get him behind. So he, as a center mid, actually pushes out wide as well with his high medium work rates. Um, like I said, guys, we're trying him out for fun in the attacking areas, but this is going to be a card that you mostly use in the defensive areas. So as this game progresses... Um, Maybe we can get some attacking opportunities with him, uh, but he's going to be a player that you mostly use at the back. He definitely needs that anchor chemistry style for those extra defensive stats, as well as physical stats and pace stats, for sure. The acceleration and sprint speed boost for his body type is going to be very important. Oh, yeah, we could score that one, too. I'm down. <laughs> we could score that one, too. Um, by the ways, guys, with a card like this, one position that I have failed to mention that would be really good for a card like this is actually in the CDM position. Now, unfortunately, he's not a medium-high work rate player because if he was medium-high, he would be cracked out of his mind. But even still, with the high-medium work rates, I do feel like he can play that center defenseman position well. So we're actually going to try him out there just before we give him a shot in that defensive areas. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and switch him to that CDM spot this time. And uh, we'll see how he performs there. Because the instructions that we have for the CDM is actually on man mark, stay back while attacking cover center. So we'll try him out that way. Oh my goodness, Coleman. Coleman's letting me down, man. Almost got that attacking space there at Limer too. First time strike. Oh my god, Pope actually puts it into his own net. We'll take it though. Alright guys, we're going to give him the anchor chemistry style. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to line up with him in-game. Uh, we're going to be using the... Let's see, 4-2-3-1. 
would be perfect for this. We'll try him out in the actual right back position uh, with the instructions on overlap for him. So we'll even do like balance instructions too for both of the fullbacks. And then we'll do overlap since he has some pretty decent passing capabilities. There you go. Work that space right there. Fake shot inside. There we go. Work that space. Ball roll touch. Oh, we get unlucky right there. <clears throat> um, I think Lamer is going to mostly be like a stay back while attacking oriented fullback, to be honest with you guys. Wouldn't necessarily want him over the uh, attacking tactics for sure. I like all players like Alfonso Davies pushing up, you know. There you go, Huang with the finish, nicely done. Well, at least Lamer's well positioned there to uh, potentially intercept the ball there. Ooh, nice finish. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I feel like I'd want the shadow over the anchor. I want. I feel like I'd want the pace boost because I think his physical is already pretty decent as it is. So, I think it'd make the most sense. Oh, good interception there at Lamer. Yeah, I, I, I'm using his pace right now, and I'm kind of like, I just wish I had a little bit more, you know. All right, guys. So, final verdict on this Lamer card. So, the most relevant thing on this card was the medium high work rates, in my opinion. Right. So, it was funny because. Uh, there was moments where I was playing where I was like, oh, you know, he's he might be like high medium because I totally forgot. Right. But then I was like, he's not really doing high medium oriented stuff. Right. He's really, really playing to medium high work rates, guys, because even when I put him in the fullback position and I had him on balance instructions overlap, he didn't overly commit that space because of his work rate. So because that is a characteristic that this card has, right, that is going to be the thing you will notice the most. Now, if you guys remember this rare gold card right here was really good to use in the center defenseman position in the beginning of the year so i don't think it's going to be any difference for a card like lamer if you want to use this card in the cdm position with his medium attacking work rates and high defensive work rates you will 100 percent notice that in your team right if you want to use him in the right back position on stay back while attacking you will also notice that he will consistently stay in that position and then if you want to also use him in that center back position with the medium Medium high work rates, 5'11 height, and pace stats that are already very good for base card stats. Like, take a look at this. So you give him the shadow chemistry style for the defensive boost you give him, but look at this card on the seven chemistry style as well. He still looks like a pretty solid center back if you want to use him next to David Alaba, Klosterman, link him up with uh with Manuel Neuer's card, right? Like, like I said, guys, there was moments where I was checking out the card where I was like, is, was he was he a medium high or was he a high medium? Because I thought he would be more aggressive, but then he wasn't, right? So he really does play to that medium high work rate, guys, which is very important for those three main positions. CDM, center back, right back. That's where you're going to be able to fully utilize a card like this in your team. So if you want to get him for that and you also want to get him because he gets those links to Klosterman and David Alaba, it's worth doing the SBC in regards to that. So Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Don't expect this card to be too crazy on the attack unless you force tactics and instructions out of him because he only started to run the get in behind 3-5-2 tactic because that was a forced instruction on the card, right? He didn't do it immediately like someone like Adama Traore. He did it like a little bit afterwards, afterwards right? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.